Hello, humans and pets. Krabby Patty time. Krabby Patty. Um, SpongeBob. Uh, collab with Wendy's. Out of all places, which I'm kind of fascinated about. I'm gonna give you this one today. Okay, I'll, t- I'll take this one. Uh, we got the Krabby Patty collab meal. Um, so it's like a SpongeBob collaboration. It's called the Krabby Patty collab. Um, it comes with the Krabby Patty secret sauce. It comes with stickers. I'm excited. So, but what I, does it I come with? It comes with a Krabby okay, Patty. Yes. It comes with a French fry, and it also comes with, with a, a pineapple under probably pineapple under the sea, uh, frosty. Frosty. So what? So, where are we starting? We at? should probably start with the frosty. Because well, I knew you were gonna say that. It's going to melt, and the burger won't melt. Okay. So that's that's my guess. Uh, what, do you think I'm gonna like the frosty? I think I'll like the burger. No, we're, gonna, we're gonna find out. It seems like you can't really mess it up. I wouldn't have started with the frosty, but I'm going really? for it. Really? Well, I guess I. You gotta eat dessert first. I know, oh. but that's what I was afraid. Of. It's okay. It's on my pants. They did now. fill up the frosties, so. though. All right, let's do this. Let me uh. Let me get the stickers out of the way. Oh no! What is wrong with you? I'm frosting everywhere. I don't this know poor it, car. I don't know if you can see it dripping. It's not on the car. It's on my pants. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely you smell have pineapple flavor. It smells like an Throw orange. Out. You sure it's pineapple? Well, I don't think there's oranges in SpongeBob, but there smell is it. a pineapple. Smell it. Yeah, it smells like not orange. Mm. It's very subtle. Yeah, you can barely tell. You can taste it though when you get it. You can. You gotta because you gotta kind of scoop the outside. As you can see, mine all leaked to the bottom. So I guess when I get down lower, I'll be able to try it more. What do you think? It's very good. Definitely is pineapple. I was afraid it was gonna be too sweet, but it's not. It it just adds a fruity flavor to the Vanilla. vanilla itself. I think this is the best frosty we've had. I like this one. I like this one a it's lot. It's not sweet at all, but I do like the, that little addition of the fruit to add to the pine to the uh, vanilla. I think it's good. Mm-hmm. I recommend that. Do you think you should dip a fry in it? I've yeah, ne- we, I've never we, been we a can fry. Try that. <laughs> I'm I'm struggling here. I don't I don't. Sorry, guys. It's all over myself. I, I don't know how you can manage to get that much on you. Well, You're giving me ice head. Me either. Okay. Run. Okay, you want to dip a fry? It comes with a fry. No, I don't so think I liked that last it. time. Why not? It's fine. It's not really my go-to technique. Oh, you got you got an extra thing, right? What extra thing? I, uh, I'm looking at a burger way. in the bottom of my the thing. Yeah, I have a chicken sandwich. This is the chicken sandwich. I would assume so. Because it says chicken on it. Okay. Yeah, do you like... I don't think I like fries in my shit. I'd rather shit. just eat the fry, but... No. You know, if you like that, it's that salty, it's that sweet, you know. No, I, I said that to be for me, but Annie Brenda always eats chips with her with her ice with cream. Her, with her ice cream. I was just and I've never really seen people do that before. I don't know. <laughs> me either. I've never you heard know, that. But, but she it always makes said, sense. I mean yeah. there's there's recipes where you put chips in the ice cream. You know, so why not? I know we said it a couple it. times. But just like fast food fries. I think they're the best. I do like these a lot. I think they're good. Yep. The solid, they, they got the crisp and they mm-hmm. taste like potatoes. Mm-hmm. And I, I like the size. I like that's the, the part I like about the width. it. The, 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 they have the most potato flavor. Yeah. Now we were trying to figure out what is going to be the Krabby Patty secret sauce. Yeah. My guess was like a, it contains egg. So I'm guessing it's gonna, either going to be a mayo or it's going to be a, something else. We're going to do a. Uh... Show you ready. Oh, do you want me to bring up? Yeah, yeah that's I'll fine. You don't this. have to. I'll do this for fun. You ready? <laughs> there you go, guys. SpongeBob. Now, in the show, I don't think it's a square patty. But it's Wendy's, so I think it has to be. Right? No, I don't believe it is a square patty, now that you say that. So, on there, there's a nice slab of lettuce, which is not traditional yes. with Wendy's. There is an... Oh, I just want to touch the sauce. It there's, is. There's a nice the, the onion, one the lettuce on a it. nice tomato... Tomatoes, some pickles, some cheese, the Krabby Patty, and I do, I, I do like because that doesn't usually happen to have the 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 lettuce. It separates. Do you know what I mean? The lettuce on top. Yeah, of it, it holds it, it but I feel like it, it might get see. soggy. It might. Let's see. Krabby Patty going at it. Mm. 
Okay. I don't know if you can hear, but that's the one thing I like about a whole piece of lettuce as opposed to the shredded lettuce. You get that mm. crunch. Because lettuce doesn't add anything besides the texture mm -hmm. and the color. So if if it's shredded, you kind of lose most. Yeah, if yeah you don't you don't get that right. You just get color. I'm trying to get really what this sauce is. They put a nice amount of sauce on it though. I like it, but I was thinking Thousand Island, and I'm not getting that vibe. That was my guess. Yeah, it's just like a smoky, like mayo, kind of. Well. When you go just with the sauce, I could use more of it, though, but it has a pepper in it. It's got a mm. nice peppery vibe. It's actually very good. Mm. The sauce is great. Mm -hmm. You can taste like the black. It tastes like a black pepper at the end, which I think works well, especially if you get the combo. Mm -hmm. You get the salty from the fries, the like smoky pepper from the sauce, and then you get the sweetness from the frosty, right? So you get a little bit of it all. This is actually a, a pretty decent burger, you know? Yeah. I was hoping I was going to like it, because the show's pretty good. It's fun. Yeah. But I think all in all, I mean, I, I like the freshness of it, you know, because, again, they usually have the shredded lettuce. Mm-hmm. But the tomato brings out a whole flavor in there too. It adds a adds a moistness to it that I really like. I like the crunch of the lettuce. And uh the best part I is actually the like sauce. the sauce. The sauce the is sauce actually is very the good. Best part. And the funny thing is normally when we get stuff, I'm always like, give me a double, give me a triple, give you know what I mean? I it's been fine. it's been a while since I've done like the single. But it, it brings, I, I, I'm, I'm agreeing with you, even though you, it sounds like I'm giving a negative, that it's almost like the right ratio, you mm. know, with the lettuce and the tomato and the onion and just the one patty when as opposed have, to two or three. When you have a double or a triple, mm -hmm. it gets into the, is it going to be dry territory? Correct. Because if the patties don't excel on their own, mm -hmm. it, it's kind of a lackluster sandwich. Mm -hmm. In this case, the patty is, it's fine. It's good. I guess yep. it's all right. Um, nothing to write home about, but it being a single with that amount of sauce and cheese, it, it works. It doesn't dry out, which is great. That's exactly what I was getting at because, like, sometimes when we did the bacon in it was good, but the patties were on the drier side mm -hmm. as opposed to, like, the Sonic one that was super moist or, like, some of the Smash Burger and right. all them that really were moist. This is a safe bet. This, 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 it, it just was, like, the perfect ratio. I'll tell you what, though, that, that Krabby mm. Patty sauce, I like that little peppery hit you get yes at the end of that 100 percent. that that was my favorite part of it for sure it has a zing to it it's not spicy no but you get like that flavor and like you a get, smokiness you get a little cracked black pepper right at the end right when you're when you're eating it now that, that's it, the secret sauce yeah no that that's actually very good so and it wasn't just a, a a big mac sauce and that's what i was afraid it was going to be which would have been good too don't get me wrong but i thought it was going to be because thousand island well it's big mac sauce is similar to thousand island mm -hmm. not exactly but thousand island would make sense because spongebob Right. So, like, he doesn't live on an island. He lives under the island, I guess. Or well, not under, like, to the side. I don't think we brought but, it up, but this was, what, just under $10, 9 Yeah, something, it was like correct? 9 bucks for the meal. I think it's $6 for the sandwich. Y so, if you just get it. If so you don't get the fries and the frosty. I think it's but cool. But for that price, 10 bucks. I mean, you get dessert. Yes. You get the fries. You get the burger. And it's not a... It's not a mini burger like we did the other day with the biggie bag. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like it's a it was a regular burger. What I wish is I wish they had a drink as well, like a fun lemonade. Right. Like if they had like a pineapple lemonade to go with it. Right. Or like something, you know. No, I get I that. Feel like it's missing that, but I also don't know what drink you would pick. Right. That's the problem. But you could find something in the like there has to be drinks in the SpongeBob but, universe. But if that I'm you being honest, real life, right? I would rather have an ice cream than a drink. You can always get a Coke on the side or something if you want it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yes. I'd rather just have a like a mm. a drink on the side with you. it, you know? Right. Like, like yeah. I'm not saying remove the Frosty for the drink. Oh, I got you. I'd no, say remove the fries for the drink because the fries have nothing to do with SpongeBob. 
They're just there. So if you had, like... That's a filler, though. You could, yeah, for sure. But you mm-hmm. could add, like, Spongebob-shaped nuggets. Or you could add, like, Spongebob fries. No. Or so- something. Sp- Spongebob or Spongebob, like, universe-themed. They did have Spongebob nuggets at one point, didn't they? Or was that something They had, else? Kraft oh, they had mac the and dino cheese. one. Yeah, oh, that's, that's what they it was. They had Kraft mac and cheese. It was a mac and in cheese. the shape of Spongebob. There's a mac and cheese. But, I mean, that's where I would go I with said, it. If I was designing the, the collab, I'm not, obviously. I'm just eating it. I think it's pretty good. I, I just got to say considered. where, you know, someone else did a Grimace meal for $17 at, at nine ninety nine. Yeah. I, this is legit. Well, I, I just like that. At least, like, I understand Grimace's whole thing is shakes. But like, I get that's it. That's always it, been his thing. But, I mean, it was up there. 16 17 I just, bucks. Yeah. I'm getting a Frosty. I wish they had, like, a, uh, like a Hamburglar hamburger along with the Grimace shake. Right. Like, just the Grimace shake for that much was uh-huh. kind of... Yeah, but like at least this you get not only a dessert that's SpongeBob themed, but also a sandwich. Right. Which is it really SpongeBob? It's just <laughs> they just named it that. Well, it looks like the Krabby Patty. That's why they I, made I it guess. Look, I mean, I, you got to give them credit for the fact that they made it look like it. I mean, they put a big slab of lettuce. That's not something they do. I think it is if you just get lettuce on it. I don't like the Dave single. I think has it. I don't think they do a big slab. Don't they do shredded? This place is always on slab. Same mm. with like sliced onion. I don't pay attention. I, I do like the McDonald's does. The I do shredded. like the whole onion. No, well, maybe but, I, maybe I spoke out of turn. Then I I thought I think it's a great thing that they do the slab of lettuce. I think it helps a lot. It, it, it's it's but, it's funny. It's the pros and cons because when you make a like one at the house, I and we never dice it up like that. We always put a big slab on it, and I like that extra time. crunch that it gives you. But like when you make a sandwich. Like, as opposed to a grinder, where it has the shredded lettuce. I like it in a grinder. Yeah. No, that's because the oils and the, the they, they vinegar better. and the, like, right. all the stuff, like the sauces. Mm-hmm. It's like a salad. Right. You know? But I think it, it works really well with shredded lettuce. Because if you just put, like, the sauce on, like, this burger was. Right. Right? They added enough sauce where it carried through. But it's really easy to just have it. And then it's only on that layer. Like, right. it's not. Right blended and i think that's why you see a lot of like chopped sandwiches nowadays is because you get everything in every bite right mm-hmm. um but it just doesn't look appetizing i know i haven't I have, i've never had one of them them chopped ones i, I see people make them when i watch the i food get like shows. chopped steak and cheese because it's only like four ingredients right but when you have like oh i'm chopping up this apple and i'm dicing no. up this carrot and i'm gonna blend all this stuff together it's like i get the i get the point of it right but it's also it just kind of looks like dog mush, like dog I forgot, food. Like I forgot what state was famous for the chopped cheese. They called it. It was like a chop. Probably New York. I forget who it was. That would Some, be my guess. Somebody was famous for the chopped cheese sandwich, and it was, they were like, "Oh, it's better than a steak and cheese because of something or other." It was just one of them things. I saw some special on it. It was probably on First Week Feast or something. Not Sean Evans. Mm-mm. Now one of the ones where they go to like different spots. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, I say it's worth it. I, I yeah. yeah. I mean, for the ten bucks, I mean, you, you know, I you pay that for I some mean, ice creams. Now we know what the secret formula is confirmed. We can taste it. Do you? Um. Well, Paul, uh, this is honestly like, I wish the burger like, I it, it's unreasonable, but like pineapple rings on it or like something. Oh, this is it's literally just they took a cheeseburger that's on their menu and they added a. A different sauce and called it the Krabby Patty sauce. But you... on the Krabby Patty, maybe if they changed the patty to not be a square, which is anti Wendy's. Yeah, but they're not gonna. It's because it's a Wendy's. It collab. doesn't really look like SpongeBob. Oh boy, you you can't nitpick. Have you it. looked at a Krabby Patty before? Yeah. This is just a Wendy's sandwich with sauce on it. Do I think it tastes great? Yes, I think it's fantastic. <laughs> the presentation, it's just Wendy's. At least this has pineapple to it. That one's just a smoky sauce. No correlation, I don't think. I mean, that's like saying, "Oh, they collab with Burger King, but we're gonna cook it on a grill instead of on a griddle instead of a grill." It's it's still gonna have a Burger King. You know it it has mean? the Burger King finish. I get it's that. It's gonna have. It's gonna. You're eating so Burger Wendy's, King. it's not, they're not gonna get a, a round patty with. I 100 agree. Square patty. Maybe don't choose Wendy's, <laughs> or choose Wendy's and then. Yeah, but I I I was hoping what better way to collab where you both give a little bit. No, so now no, it's, 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 it's a, a little blend. of both. It's right. a merge, right? right? I 100% get that. It's just, when <laughs> when I first heard this, before I figured out, like, what was on the sandwich and stuff, I was hoping it was, like, 
they're going to make it look like a Krabby Patty, or they're going to make it stand out with some connection other than just we added sauce to a burger. You know? I do say, and, and maybe it was psychosomatic Different bun, on yeah, it, like a, but I don't the know. fact that they put the lettuce on top of, of the burger, and then the tomato and the onion, and then the bun... I seem to get more crunch out of the lettuce being further down as opposed to, I always oh, put the yeah. top bun, lettuce, then the tomato and the onion would have went See, on top of the burger. When I, I would have built it the other when way. When I normally eat a burger not on this channel, because I'm weird, I flip it upside down mm -hmm. because I taste the sauce and the lettuce and tomato first before the burger and the cheese and stuff. Because that's how they normally stack it. It's normally on top, mm. the topping. So if I flip it around, it's on the bottom and I taste it first because my taste buds are down here, not up here. As much. That's mm. in my head. That's how I eat it. I think it just tastes better. Again, that, but, I, to me, I, and again, I don't know if I was just concentrating on the fact, but I seemed to get more crunch when it wasn't up against the bread in the middle of the sandwich. I never. I think it was own. just a fresh piece of lettuce. I think it was too. Doesn't but I'm going to try that the next time I make a burger and I put that on there because I want to see if it if it and actually works. You got to flip it upside down and see which one you like more. Well, I I go crazy when I'm eating anyways. <laughs> Sideways. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're upside down and the burger's normal. But that can happen. That yeah. didn't happen. Um, so. I swear the it had two pieces of lettuce, the Krabby Patty, when watching the show. I don't, I don't, I, I didn't like. Pay I always thought it was much. like double lettuce or no. something. I'm not sure, but do I think it's a good meal? Yes, I think so. I think it's cool that they collab with SpongeBob. I don't know if they're gonna do anything else. No. I think they should, but it's new and it came out today. Yeah, cool. I'm Would surprised. Be I'm surprised it this took this out. long. Yeah, because the show's been popular for like. Two decades, three decades now. But are, yeah. are they making a new movie? Is there a new SpongeBob movie or something? That's what I was thinking. Probably, but. probably not. I don't know. Mm -hmm. They keep doing these spinoff shows. That's like Patrick's like show, or oh, like, and apparently they're all bad. But uh, I haven't watched them, so but I've heard like really bad things about it. Like all the ratings were low. Mm -hmm. But all things considered, the original SpongeBob was amazing. Right. I'm just surprised. The Wendy's collab came after them being in the Super Bowl. No, that's true, too. You know, it's yeah. like, I feel like making a Krabby Patty in right. real life, branded right. with another, you know, food place, would have been first. But that's my... But Either way... I think it's good. Try it if you want. If you're looking for a meal deal, I mean... It's, it's not good. the best value, but it's it's. It, but if I'm being try. honest, I, I think it tasted better than the biggie bag we had the other day. Yeah, I like this sauce a lot. That's what I'm saying. This 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 meal deal right here might be a couple dollars more, but we got an ice cream instead yep. of a, a Mountain Dew or whatever I had, and I you know and yeah. I, I like that better. I like this sure. deal better, and I think it tastes better than what we had the other day. So I would prefer if they had the frosty, the burger, and a drink, mm -hmm. um, rather than the fries. I understand the fries. You know, it goes with a meal. Uh, yeah, no, most you people want the fries. I actually, I like the, yeah, because you can always buy a drink for but a buck anyway. To me, this is the side. Yeah. And then the drink's the dessert, kind of. And people like to dip their fries in the, in the thing. It's just, I maybe they're so confident that it's not going to be dry. They're like, we don't we don't make dry food, so we don't even have to add a drink. You know? No, those, I mean, I mean, when I was a kid, I, I didn't want a drink. I wanted a, I wanted a chocolate shake as my drink. That's crazy to me. I used to do that all the but, time. A lot of people do that. You know, because back then they weren't crazy expensive. But it's like if you went to McDonald's, the whole point was I wasn't getting a Coke because we, we weren't allowed to. But I could get a chocolate shake. Well, that's because you I weren't want allowed that. to get a Coke. No, we weren't. So <laughs> one's less healthy. Well, we could. I guess. But like we didn't drink soda on a regular. So if we were going out. You would get a shake. We could do it, but I wanted a shake. The shake is like presentation mode. Like it, it looks oh. more like I think I enjoy shakes more than a soda because they look cooler. Yeah. I think so. if they made soda look cool, I'd like it more. But then you mix the two. Yeah, yeah those are, that's always good, too. Yeah. Then it's a float. I don't know why they don't have those on the menu. They already have the ice cream. You just press a button. Yeah. Can't help you there. Run McDonald's. Yeah, I want a Coke float. Yeah. A root beer float. I, I want, I want a float. SpongeBob pineapple float. Yeah. But, but there you go. That's that. All right, well, there's the review. That being said. Go get your Krabby Patty. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video.